Most people think that the only difference between American and European Dobermans is their breeding locations. Well, this assumption will probably throw canine experts into a fit of laughter because the two dog varieties have very little in common. In fact, some owners and breeders believe that their characteristics have diverged to a degree where they should be considered two unique breeds. Today, we'll check out American Doberman versus European Doberman. Number 5. Physical Differences The most obvious difference between the two varieties of Doberman is their physical build. There is also what will allow you to quickly and easily identify the specific variation of Doberman. Although each dog will differ slightly based on its individual genetics, the following are the primary physical differences between the two. The height and weights listed below are per the breed standard for the American Doberman Pinscher as described by the AKC standard and the European Doberman as described by the FCI standard. The weights listed in the side-by-side -side comparison above are real-world weights that you are likely to see for each type of dog and are not based on the breed standards. You'll note that the AKC sets a very broad range on the acceptable weights of the American Doberman while the FCI sets a very tight weight range. Regardless, the European dog is almost always heavier than its American counterpart. The American Doberman Pinscher is a more elegant dog that is built to excel in the show ring. The overall look of the American Doberman is that of a larger, slimmer, and sleek looking dog. Think of the bills of a high endurance athlete. Their legs are long and slim, their paws are smaller, and the head is a slim wedge shape with smooth angles. The muzzle is also long, slim, and comes to a more sharper point than the European variety. The overall body is also notably larger and thinner. Of an American Doberman Pinscher, the neck will slope quickly upward from the shoulders of the dog with a graceful sloping arch. The neck widens gradually towards the body. The neck is also significantly larger and thinner than its European counterpart. The European Doberman is an overall larger dog that is built to excel as a working or personal protection dog. Overall, the European Doberman is a larger, heavier dog with a thicker bone structure. The dog is more compact than and not as large as the American version. Their legs are thick and muscular, paws are larger and their head is a thicker block shape with sharper angles. The muzzle of the European Doberman is thicker and blunter at the end than the American variety. Again, the differences in the necks of the dogs are the most apparent. The neck of the European Doberman is thicker, shorter, and protrudes out from the shoulders with less of a noticeable upward arch. Number 4. Color Differences American Dobermans can compete in four different coat color combinations, black and rust, red and rust, blue and rust, and fawn and rust. European Dobermans can compete in two different coat color combinations, black and rust and brown and rust. Even though the Europeans use the word brown instead of red, both words represent the same coat color. I have noticed that European Dobermans tend to have darker rust markings. Until recently, blue and fawn European Dobermans have still been born, but haven't been able to compete in FCI events. Many years ago, Europe allowed blue Dobermans to compete. Both colors, fawn, Isabella, and blue, have been deemed unacceptable to European Doberman clubs. The reason being that both diluted coats have very weak hair follicles that have a strong tendency to break off causing multiple skin issues. In its creation, one of the first two Dobermans made was described as being a mousy gray-blue color. Blue and fawns have to be inside only dogs to ensure their coat and skin stay healthy. We have many blue and fawns that are older now and look great, but they have been inside and pampered most of their life. Nowadays, we strive to have all black and rust and brown and rust puppies for easier coats. Number 3. Temperamental Differences These dogs are similar in many ways as far as temperament. After all, 
They came from the same ancestors of Louis Doberman's creation. Both dogs are highly intelligent, easily trainable, loving, alert, protective, and loyal family companions. Both are very in tune with their family or pack, and both are happiest in an active household. However, there is certainly a fair amount of controversy surrounding how an American and European Doberman differ as far as temperament, and there are differences. The American Doberman is considered to be an ideal family pet. They're slightly calmer than their European counterparts with a bit less drive. This can be great for a family since Dobermans in general have an extraordinarily high level of drive. Like the European, the American dog loves relaxing on the bed or couch, but the American variety is more comfortable sharing his personal space and more likely to cling to their owners. The American responds very well to training that consists of positive reinforcement and soft corrections along the way. They thrive on reassurance from their owners and are considered to be more sensitive to human emotions. The American Doberman is protective of their family much like the European. If their family is threatened, however, they may be more cautious with their reaction as well. Overall, the American Doberman is great for a broader audience and less experienced dog owners. The European variety can also be a great family pet, however, they excel as a working dog. This means that they're ideally suited for police, military, search and rescue, and other similar types of work. Number 2. Health Differences Information and studies regarding the health differences between the two breeds are few and far between. Both the American and European Doberman are prone to the same list of health issues including gastric dilation and Vavala syndrome, GDV or bloat, hip dysplasia, dilated cardiomyopathy DCM, chronic active hepatitis CAH, von Will Brand's disease VWD, cervical vertebral instability wobbler syndrome, progressive retinal atherpy PRA, hypothyroidism, and osteosarcoma bone cancer. Traditionally, it has been thought that European Dobermans are not as likely to be affected by genetic diseases as the American variety. The American Doberman Pincher comes with the same laundry list of potential health issues as the European. There was one study on the matter, however, that looked at a very common issue with both varieties of Doberman. Dilated cardiomyopathy, DCM or just enlarged heart. Number 1. Choosing the right Doberman. Which is better? The right Doberman is the one that you believe will mesh the best with the environment you intend to bring it into. A dog whose temperament is a good fit for you should be your top priority. Since, like people, every dog is different and possesses its own temperamental characteristics, regardless of their genetics. Each potential puppy that you're considering should be evaluated to determine if they'll be a good fit for you and your family. A European might be the best if you have an active family and want a dog to join a lot of family outings, are an experienced dog owner, want the best guard dog possible. Like a larger, more powerful looking Doberman with visible muscle mass, want to compete in working dog events, protection events, join search and rescue organizations, etc. An American Doberman Pincher might be best if you have a tight family environment and want a dog that sticks close by your side, or an inexperienced dog owner, value a dog that can read human emotion well, love the beauty of a refined and noble looking Doberman, want to compete and breed confirmation shows. Once you decide which Doberman variant is most likely to fit your lifestyle, Take the time to find a reputable breeder and then pick the specific dog from that litter that will be the best fit for your family. If you're still torn about which Doberman you should be getting, let me set you at ease. I really don't think you can go wrong. Both dogs are incredibly intelligent, loving, bond strongly to the family, and are easy to train. Both are wonderful with kids if socialized with them from a young age and both are likely to make a great addition to your family. Do let us know in the comment which one of them you think is best to become part of your family. 
please subscribe to The Amazing Dogs. Thanks for watching.